Hello and welcome to another in the video series on operating the Cloud Control Center. In this session, we will cover how to create a new customer. Once you sign into the Cloud Control Center, migrate to the Customer Management section of the menu and choose Customers. Here you will see a list of all your existing customers. To create a new one, you select the New button and the Customer Creation Wizard opens. This wizard will step you through the creation of a new customer and is very similar to the Express Configuration Wizard inside of V1. Click Next. You are asked for the customer profile information. Here the only field that is absolutely required is the customer name. We are going to call it New Customer. And then you can fill in as much information as you can. Maybe we'll give a contact person a phone number, um, maybe an employee account, location, etc. But again, the only information that's absolutely necessary is the customer name. Click Next to move to the license import. It helps to have created the license ahead of time and have imported it. That is covered in a separate video on importing a license file. But once you have imported the license file, you can select it or you can import one during this process if you've created it and have it in your local machine. Let's just collect, select this license and move forward. At this point, we can add a user. I'm going to skip this section. It's not required. We can add users later. And we encourage you to visit the uh, or view the video on creating users and assigning them to tenants. We'll just say next. Here we can add tenants. You can skip this section and add a tenant to this customer later. Or you can create one now, which is what we're going to do by selecting the new button. Again, a wizard is uh, invoked, the tenant creation wizard will step you through the process. We are going to create a default tenant. We are going to select the service unit in which it will reside. Now you will be asked to input the tenant information. The tenant name is like the customer name, so new customer Inc. Database name needs to be in the proper format. purpose and we'll make this their productive uh, database. It pulls in some of the information from the customer information that we've given it. Choose the US localization. Once we choose the localization, we choose the chart of accounts. In our, our case we're going to use the simplified chart of accounts. The base language we will use English for the United States and we could give it a description uh, as desired. Next, we're asked to create the posting periods. Be careful here, the default for the subperiods is year. Unlike if you were to create posting periods inside of V1, the subperiod default is blank. Here it's year, so be careful to choose months if you want 12 different posting periods for the year. If you had created users, you could assign the licenses here. But since we haven't, we are going to finish. During the process, the tenant will be created. And when we click to Next, we get to review the information that we have specified to date. When we, create, when we click Next, the process will commence and the customer will be created. After several minutes, the process completes. The customer and the tenant or tenants have been created. And we'll click the Finish button to close the wizard. You'll see that the customer is now created, new customer. We will click the tenant. On page 
page two, a new tenant has been created as well. That concludes our video in operating the Cloud Control Center, creating a new customer. We hope you found it informative and useful, and we hope that you will view the other videos in the Operating the Cloud Control Center series. Thank you.